Entertainment. This studio is the developmental equivalent of the dipshit in elementary school who was perpetually trying to convince his teacher that his dog had devoured his fucking homework. Except instead of blaming the dog, they blame the teacher, in this case standing in for the publisher. Every time Obsidian announces a new game, our expectations soar like an ICBM. And every time the game releases, our expectations plummet like a North Korean ICBM, but do they accept responsibility or even culpability for the state of their products upon release? Heavens to Murgatroyd, fuck no. When Fallout New Vegas was a half-finished turd, oh, it was Bethesda's fault. When Knights of the Old Republic 2 was a three-quarter finished turd, oh, it was Bioware's fault. When Dungeon Siege 3 was virtually unfit to be pressed to a fucking disc, oh, it's Microsoft's fault. Oh, and here's the punchline of the joke that is Obsidian. When Alpha Protocol was an unplayable, glitch-addled, Fucking catastrophe, it was Sega who was to blame. These fuckers couldn't finish Alpha Protocol with nearly five years of development, three increases in budget, and two deadline extensions. And now you have given them one million dollars to trifle away in any fashion they see fit. Further, Obsidian finds themselves in the enviable position of not even needing to generate their own excuses because you, the PC gamer, in your perpetual pursuit for the five fucking PC exclusives you will receive in a given calendar year will defend them to your dying Cheeto-scented fucking breath, their culpability, incompetence, and inability to accept responsibility notwithstanding. And the icing on the motherfucking icing is that the PC gamers will then trot back to their ejaculariums and proceed to giddily finish their game for Obsidian. All the while fancying themselves, ironically, the Master Race. At what fucking point will the PC servant class no longer be content with merely picking cotton for the landed gentry? And now, they've thrown the switch for the fucking developmental rhetoric generator yet again, and along comes Project Infinity with your cash lining the folds of their pockets. So, oh, but this time it's going to be different. Yes, Sunshine? Well, here's a fucking query. If a drug addict gets free money from the government and spends it all on drugs, then gets free money from his friends and spends it all on drugs, then scores some free cash from his parents and spends it all on drugs, what makes you think he'll spend a complete asshole stranger's money on anything but black tar fucking heroin? If Obsidian weren't taking their job seriously when they were securing funds from actual fucking shareholders and peers within their own fucking industry, why, in nebulous would they ever trouble themselves to spend your hard-earned cash effectively? This is a company completely bereft of effective leadership. A company that couldn't use their time effectively with fucking stopwatches surgically grafted to their eyelids. The one and only enterprise they're even remotely experienced at or qualified for is generating pie-in-the-sky amorphous uber concepts that sound appealing in theory, but invariably arrive in truncated, glitch-addled form. If Obsidian Studios promises you a chocolate sundae and a blowjob, expect a pudding cup and phone sex with a dyspeptic midget. They are going to shit down your throat. They invariably do. The only difference is, this time, you will pay them for it. Twice! I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed.